understanding international trade through comparative advantage. Welcome back, class. Today, we're going to delve into a fundamental economic principle that shapes global trade, the comparative advantage. This concept was first introduced by the British economist David Ricardo in the early 19th century. Ricardo's groundbreaking idea was that countries should specialize in producing goods that they can create most efficiently trade for everything else they need, even if they are more efficient overall than other countries in everything they do. This leads us to the Production Possibilities Fund, or PPF, which is a tool economists use to illustrate the trade-offs in production that a country faces between two different goods. It shows us how a country can best allocate its resources to maximize production and competence. According to Ricardo, even if a country can produce what the other country can produce, but not as efficient as the other country, then you should import from a country that's producing that particular good more efficiently. I've explained this, uh, this concept of PPF to my economic student in most of my economic class. Comparative advantage explains why a country like Japan, for example, known for its technology, might focus on electronics and machineries, while a country like Brazil, with vast agricultural resources, focus on soil beans. Each country trades to benefit from other strengths, enhancing overall efficiency and consumption possibilities. Let's apply this to a practical example involving Saudi Arabia and Nigeria, hypothetically, focusing on two specific projects, Ajwa Dates and Hibiscus. Every Nigerian Muslim coming to Saudi Arabia knows how valuable Ajwa Dates is to him and to people back home. As a gift, people are so happy to receive Ajwa Dates from all pilgrims that come to Saudi Arabia for Hajj or Umrah when they return back to Nigeria. And it is in high demand in Germany. And then we have the hibiscus flower. The hibiscus flower now is in high demand by some companies, factoring companies, businessmen, wholesalers around Saudi Arabia. So we're going to take a look at some of these two examples and see how we apply the concept of debit recalculus to the production possibilities for here. Let's take Ajwa dates, efficiently produced in Saudi Arabia due to ideal climate conditions and advanced farming techniques, costing significantly less than in other countries. But yet, Saudi Arabia can produce hibiscus flour if they want to, but despite potential agricultural demand, Saudi faces high production cost, about $3,000 pound per ton due to an unsuitable climate and high labor cost. If you go back to Nigeria, we specialize in farming hibiscus flour, especially around Jigawa and Kasina State. Hibiscus thrives in Nigeria thanks to favorable conditions, costing, let's say, only $800 a ton to produce. While if Nigeria would say they are going to produce agro dates, oh my God, conversely, it's prohibitively expensive to grow in Nigeria because it might cost you around $4,500 turn due to climate disadvantages. Now, what are the economic implications? Without trade, both countries will incur high cost of producing non-native goods inefficiently. But with trade, 
by focusing on their comparative advantages, Saudi Arabia can sell Ajwa dates to Nigeria at $1,200 per ton to Nigeria. And Nigeria can export hibiscus flour at $800 per ton to Saudi Arabia. What does that do? This specialization of trade allows both countries to enjoy lower cost and better quality goods, exemplifying Ricard just theory. The underlying principles here, essential for our understanding of global trade, is that specialization and exchange enable nations to overcome limitations and enhance consumer welfare through diversify, optimize resource use. In the next slide, I'm going to show you an example of how the table is made and how the graph of the PPC is made according to an example, looking at how much Nigeria stands to benefit. They import hydro dates from Saudi Arabia and how much Saudi Arabia stands to benefit when they import uh, uh, viscous flour instead of producing discuss flower in Saudi Arabia. And this will lay the foundation, wonderful foundation to as to how, why should we gain export and import business. Let's move on to our analysis of the production possibility of chair, the PPF, which helps us understand the benefit of specialization trading these and competitive advantage. Let's dive into how this applies to our hypothetical trade relationship between Saudi Arabia and Nigeria, focusing on two products, Ajua dates and hibiscus flour. Saudi Arabia's PPF, shown in red, this curve demonstrates the trade-offs Saudi Arabia faces when deciding how much of Ajua dates vices hibiscus to produce. The curve tells us that Saudi Arabia can produce agile dates very efficiently, meaning they get more output from the same resources compared to hibiscus. Because of the natural conditions and expertise, it makes economic sense for Saudi Arabia to focus on producing more agile dates. While on the other hand, Nigerian PPF shown in green, conversely, this curve reflects Nigeria's production capabilities. Nigeria is more efficient at producing hibiscus due to its ideal growing conditions and lower labor cost. The PPF curve slopes in such a way that it favors the production of hibiscus over actual dates, indicating that Nigeria should specialize in hibiscus. The trade line that you can see here, you can see the trade line, the trade line in blue dashed line, this line connects the point on each country's PPFs where they are most efficient. It indicates the potential for trade between the two countries that can make each country better off than if they try to produce both goods. By focusing on what they do best and trading with each other, both countries can achieve a higher level of economic efficiency and production. Now let's talk about cost saving analysis. How much is Saudi Arabia saving? How much is Nigeria saving? By importing hibiscus from Nigeria, Saudi Arabia avoids the high cost of $3,000 per ton for domestic production and instead chase it at $800 per ton from Nigeria. This results in substantial savings of $2,200 per ton. Nigeria's cost saving in, in, in the, on the other hand, similarly, benefits by importing agile dates from Saudi Arabia. It will cost Nigeria $4,500 dollars per ton to produce annual dates domestically due to us to unsuitable climate condition and lack of expertise. However, by importing from Saudi Arabia at $1,200 per ton, Nigeria saves 
$300 a ton. This PPF diagram and connected tree line beautifully illustrate, illustrate our specializing according to comparative advantage and engaging in international trade benefit both countries. They can achieve lower cost, higher quality goods, and better overall economic efficiency. These strategic trade not only strengthens economic ties between nations, but also optimizes global resource use, leading to a win-win situation for all all parties. And that is why we are promoting export and import business for our people, especially for Nigeria, to engage themselves in higher export activities so as we can grow our own revenue, we can grow the GDP and people have more income and higher standard of living. We shall meet in the next lesson, I will see you. Thank you so much for joining us.